Hello, Lilas. Welcome back to my channels, guys. Channel, 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 guys. <laughs> Please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Um, thank you all for being a part of the Lola gang. Anyway, um, I have baby Bryson. Bryson Poo here. He is the Alex Gold by Claire Teller. Um, and he's painted by me and one day will be rooted by me. Um, ordered, I ordered some more hair. Hopefully, I can make a decision on what color hair. I really want a copper, cop, copper penny hair in a way. I don't know, I'm just kind of all over the place with what color. Because he's so light. But anyway, it's so funny. Every time I get him and I get ready to do a video, I always want to grab the brush. And I'm like, so I can brush his hair but he doesn't have hair. So, but that's tragic. Um, but yeah, he, eventually at some point I'm going to take him apart and then I'm going to, um, go ahead and remat him and stuff like that. I did get Alex number two limbs rematted and it came out beautifully and I'm so happy about that. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this melon situation right now. Oh my God, in my opinion, in my opinion right now, I just feel like if the seller is not, well, whoever you're dealing with is not willing to ship, um, not willing to ship you, um, you at UPS, UPS, then not USPS, but UPS, then at this point, I would just wait, have everything shipped after. I, I am expecting a baby from an artist and when she finished, it'll probably be early next week. It's just gonna have to wait to as much as I want it. It's just gonna have to wait to the new year because this, this shipping thing. And even then I think I really would you know, until about February, till they get caught up and stuff. I really would prefer that they just still ship um, UPS. Now, see, that's something that I, I do anyway. I ship practically all my packages UPS anyway, um, even before this. So, but usually, like, if I'm getting a baby from the Rooter or, you know, different other artists or different vendors... They ship USPS sometime and you know, I don't usually have a problem or it might be a little delayed, but even when I shipped out Cody, I used UPS this time. Well, I always use UPS, but I, when I had the last baby after Phoenix went all the way to Puerto Rico with USPS, I asked my router to use UPS and so, um, even with Cody, he is, he is, he is, he's flying UPS <laughs> because it's just, you know, it's just, it's just a little risky. Um, not to say that they don't be delayed. I've had a package that was one day late, but you know, one day and 30 days is a big difference. Um, I have ordered, uh, three items for my grown daughters Christmas gift I'm on edge I'm on pins and needles one two were did overnight shipping and one came overnight the other is still saying it's in Jacksonville but it has not moved in three days that is through FedEx so I don't even think FedEx is doing a good job to be honest Right now, I ain't going to say a good job. I know they got an influx of mail right now and a lot going on, but you know what I mean. And then, Lord, the third package from the same company now. Now, these two packages left the same time. You would have thought they would have been on the same truck. And it was overnight. They would have came. No. One came one day. Now one is on day, actually day four um no movement no change um the other 
just got shipped so i don't even know if that you know what's gonna happen with that one i'm just praying all i know is that i just need at least two of them to make it here um by christmas or we gonna have to postpone christmas we're gonna have to like change the date y'all we can't do it listen the whole world christmas is gonna have to change because if i have to deal with those two heifers about one getting a gift and another and nobody's getting a gift if i don't get both nobody's getting a gift until the other one arrives i'm sorry they'll just have to be mad i'm just gonna tell them they didn't arrive they'll probably see my video oh well but they don't usually watch my videos but it don't matter i'm not giving them one a gift without the other just not doing it it'll just be too much going on so that's where that is i'm just i don't know and then let's you know what happened i can't say what it is because you know but i was on the website and you know the i ordered the first two i ordered i paid twenty dollars each more than when i went two days later and i ordered the third one and paid actually yeah i paid twenty dollars less twenty two dollars less so if y'all out here shopping be be careful you know search search it a couple times because that's another thing people are price gouging people are just they're just taking advantage of us really really taking advantage of us it's just so much going on right now it's I don't know. It's just stressful. Um, someone had asked me what bottle this was. I think it was Miss Patricia a long time ago, and I forgot. I don't even know if I replied. And then a couple other people have asked me. And it is, I don't know if you want to say my or me. Um, it's Sophie L La Giraffe. That's the, um, the bottle. That's the name. And the nipple is only like that because that's something I did. But the um but yeah this is this is the bottle. So I've been kind of getting into little odd bottles. So I have been liking to collect those. But um yeah. So I don't have much time. I gotta get back to rooting. And this little boy, I can't wait to take him apart and get him all together. Um, yeah. So he's going to be good to go. And he's going to be so cute when he gets all the And I, I think, I, like his head, because he was my baby and I was wanting to finish them before I had to do my next order um and I knew I was gonna root him I was planning on rooting him soon and I usually even when I'm rooting my babies I model their whole head but it was kind of challenging turning the head and stuff so he got like this little spot right here that's not modeled see so before I touch up his mat, I'm going to model his whole scalp, his whole head really good. Because I don't know how long he's going to have to sit. See, I thought I was going to be able to root him really quickly and I wouldn't have to look at that. I cannot look at that. I like my baby's head to be modeled. So I'm going to model his whole little head up before I mat him. And so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to um, go ahead and mat him. And, um, yeah. But, yeah, he's just, he's just chilling here. I like, I bought him another little, um, one of these little romper things. But I'm gonna keep him in this for a few days because I really like the way it is. But, yeah, y'all be careful out there with the shipping and just, I think we just gonna have to be patient and wait it out. I've had an order from Bountiful Baby being shipped, um, it shipped on November 21st. It has been at my local um, USPS store for seven or eight days now. And it's just sitting there. 
and so now I'm about to hit in two more days it's gonna be um 30 days that I've you know it's gonna be a whole month I should say it's gonna be a whole month that I've actually been waiting on this package and it is kind of important because my glass beads are in there and I'm out of glass beads and you know unfortunately when I finish the silicone babies the partials that I have they do have to have glass beads <laughs> so I do need them um I haven't been able to put together Alex number two for her mommy so she can see her on her body and all that and stuff because I don't have my glass beads um and I really I really hate that um but good thing is by the time I'm hoping by the time I finish rooting her she will have her glass beads here and we can move forward um it's just it's just been a challenge um I'm not used to that. Um, one thing about it, Bountiful Baby normally ships pretty fast and their stuff normally come pretty fast. So when I ordered, I was just like, okay, it'll be here soon. And then I wanted to order before the, you know, before the holiday rush, you know, the Christmas rush. That's what I was thinking. But apparently it started in November. But, you know, if you really think about it, we was having problems with this before the holidays because of the pandemic. So that was something that I, did, I forgot and then taking consideration because of the pandemic, you got to think about how many families not traveling, how many families can't come up to see people. They're shipping stuff because they're not, you know, wanting to, you know, possibly infect someone or get infected by, the, you know, COVID. So everybody's like ship, 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 ship. So it's so much mail right going on right now. But you know what? That's out of business for the people that's working but it's kind of risky too there and you know guys we gotta be and i i say this with the ooh child with the most ugh, conflicted feelings and emotions about it we do have to be a little bit more considerate a little bit more passionate be thankful and kind to these delivery people when they deliver because think about they're they're putting they're exposing them themselves their lives every day when they're touching all these packages coming from everywhere all over the place they are being exposed to so much being in a warehouse working with their co-workers trying to get this done so i think we really really need to slow it down a little bit and think would you be out there risking your life for a piece of mail i mean really at the end of the day that's that's the sum of it are we really are you, you know what i mean so Y'all, you know, let's even talk it to myself. You know, calm down, Jody. If them girls don't get their gifts, they'll live. But we, you know, you gotta be considerate. Um, Amazon has been doing a slam jam job. They're doing great. Um, they have even been a little late on a few things than they normally would be, but not really late, late. Um, it's just maybe because I'm so used to them being early. <laughs> so now they might actually get it the day they, you may get it the day they actually say that, that you were going to get it. And if they're delayed, of course, they let you know that it's running behind. But mainly that's probably because if it's not coming from them, the other people, they're not getting it from there. Because my sister's stuff was almost a week. I was shipping her something and... Um, and it was almost a week late, um, but it was coming from somewhere else, not from Amazon themselves. So Amazon, UPS seem like they're doing good. Um, I thought FedEx was doing good on that first package. Now I'm going to say scratch that there, mm, you know, so I would just, yeah. Um, who else have I ordered from? I don't know, but I did ship something. Oh, I use UPS. I was going to say I did ship something USPS, but I use UPS. And it got right to the lady. But anyway. All right. So stay tuned. Cody Bear will be coming. Hopefully in time to sit up under the Christmas tree. Um, and yeah. I, like I said, I'm expecting another baby, but I might just tell the, the artist, just hold it. <laughs> hold it.
hold it. <laughs> so we'll see. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.